I'm Brian Catherine with SaltyBeliever.com, and I want to talk about Nathan Knight's new book, Planting by Pastoring, A Vision for Starting a Healthy Church. This is a Nine Marks book. It was published by Crossway in 2023. It's about 120 pages with another 15 or so pages of appendix material and an index and a scripture index. It's all very helpful that way. Uh, first, Nathan Knight. Nathan Knight planted uh, Restoration Church. He comes from a Baptist background, went to a Baptist seminary. He's worked with uh, the Nine Marks guys um, and Mark Dever in Washington, D.C. And then he also works uh, on the team of the Treasuring Christ Together Church Planning Network. And they're still in D.C. Um, Nathan planted a church around the same time I did, so I think I really resonated with what he had to say. He, sort of looking back, analyzing the voices and the books and all the material and all the help that he went through and saying, hey, is it right? Did it work? Is it the best way we could do this? And so I've had a lot of the same thoughts. So I feel like maybe he just sort of plucked out my ideas on some level and then just wrote them in a way that was much better. Not everything that I experienced was the same as his experiences, but I think I really resonated with it having gone through a lot of the same things. The major question he's really dealing with is what would happen if we just kind of slowed down and shot towards health in Christ, in church planting, and cherishing Christ, and treasuring the whole the whole thing there, and shepherding and pastoring, instead of being these innovative, thinking, planting, going, getting, we're here for a, you know, flash in the pan, or whatever, self-sustaining, and just all this stuff, all the language, all this, it says what's missing in these books is health, church health, and I think he's right, and I think he's done a nice job bringing that out, and in, in a way, it does offer a critique of some of the church planning organizations that are shooting fast and quick and in some of those ways, but at the same time, I think it's a needed and necessary critique. I like the book. If you're a church planter, I would highly recommend you pick this up. If you're supporting uh, church planting, pick one of these up. If you're thinking about church planting, I think this one needs to be on the shelf uh, with some of the others, but certainly I think this one probably should be the one that's that's read first, that's, that's really thought about carefully, because why would we not want to shoot for healthy churches? Now, a lot of times I provide recommendations, and I don't really provide much for a critique. And so I'd like to maybe offer a little bit of a critique. I think what would have really helped this book is if Nathan Knight could have found some church plants besides his own. That, and a lot of times he talked about his own having the failures in these areas, but find some success stories in what he's talking about so he has more and more illustrations of, wow, this church slowed down used the team, planted in this way, did that thing. I think that really would have enhanced what he's arguing by having additional anecdotal stories to go to. I think his biblical arguments are, are good, but then to really enhance that more with this is how this church followed that biblical principle and this is how it turned out well, I think that would have really helped the book. And then even he could have gone to maybe some, some churches maybe outside of some of the Baptist tradition and found some other some other ways, maybe what the Presbyterians are doing or, or whatever. I think that would have been really just healthy and good. I really appreciate, though, that he even used some of his own shortcomings in the church planting and some of the areas where things went well and didn't go well to sort of help round out some of that, that biblical stuff. I could relate to a lot of what he said. Um, I have a lot of similar uh, stories. I could just go, yep, I get that. That makes sense. I'm feeling the same way he's feeling about targeting healthy churches. So I, I think... From my perspective, I think he's really nailing it. Uh, but it would have been good to have some some other perspectives, uh, other churches that are doing that really well, as other examples. Um, that being the case, I still think it's an outstanding book. Uh, I, I hold it in high regard. I highly encourage that you read it.